let us see how you can create a bot that can collect data from users and we can store it in the CRM so before starting the creation of the bot flow you need to plan it you need to list down all the data columns that you need to store or you know get from the customer and create custom fields for each column so in my bot use case I want to store the customer's category either B2B, B2C or I also want to store their city. So I'll simply create a custom field as city and I also want to store the product category. Now once I have created the custom fields. I'll go to the auto sorry I'll go to the bot builder and then I'll create a new bot I'll first name the bot here and then I'll click on this plus icon and I'll define a bot trigger in my case it will be message match keyword condition and if someone is basically pressing the interested button in my bulk campaign, I want this bot to start. So I select if the incoming message text is interested. Now in the next step, I'll send them a welcome message. Thanks for your interest. Kindly know the below details. So our so here when I have selected the name field, this will basically automatically map the user's WhatsApp name. Now in the next step, I'll select the option of ask a question. Now you need to understand this whenever you are using a send text, a send message block, the bot won't wait here for any kind of reply. It will start, it will send this message and then it will immediately go to the next step. Now the very first thing that I want to ask is, you know, kindly let us know your city. So I'm using this text message block and and here I'll save this response to the city custom field. So whatever the client is replying, it will get saved in city. But I want to ensure that the user is replying in text and not any type of image, video or document. So in the expected answer type, I validate it that the user's reply is only text and if the user is not replying appropriately we can give them a validation fail message or a retry message and then you can define how many times this validation should happen so i have selected four times now by default this question block our bot will wait for just one hour and if you want to increase the waiting time you can increase it to 100 hours 1000 hours but suggest is, is not to keep it above 12 to 24 hours because the session would expire after 24 hours now in the next step i'll ask another question that is the category type of the user either it can be b2b or b2c so i'll select this option of interactive message and ask the question via button message are you a retailer or wholesaler so retailer for me is b2c and wholesaler for me is B2B. Now whatever the user presses here, I simply save the response to 
the category custom field and if the user is not clicking any buttons i can define a validation but i don't want to do it this time i'll simply let the waiting time be one hour now if the user is a retailer i have different products for the user if he's a retailer first of all if you do not have different flows for each button you can utilize this small circle here and irrespective of what users select here you can build your uh, bot flow ahead but if you want separate flows for retailer or wholesaler you can have separate flows as well so in this case if the user is retailer i want to give them again product categories and this time i'll be giving them in the list format because i have more than three categories if i have less than four i mean one two three categories i can use buttons but for more than three i'll have to use list and list gives me option of up to 10 different items so here select and in the title i'll mention kindly select And I'll add four items for now. And then I'll save this reply to product category. We have another option of multiple reply answer but you can avoid it for now. We will have a separate video on how to utilize this so always use single reply answer if you are unsure. So I will select this the reply to this message will be product category and I will simply click on save response. Now here whatever user replies in the next step I simply want to say that. Now the same thing for the wholesaler, if the user is a wholesaler I want to ask them their GST number. So and then I will save this reply. So what has happened here is I did not create a field for the GST number earlier. So now what should I do? I should simply save this question here save the workflow in the end once i've completed my bot flow i'll create this custom field i'll come back here and i'll set it again but do not leave your workflow in between because if you'll do you'll lose your data so in the next step i'm also sending the same message to the user Now a lot of times your requirement can be that you know after this you want to assign the retailer chat to a sales agent in the inbox as well as the wholesaler chat to a different sales agent so you can simply click on this plus icon click on assign to agent and select your agent and save agent. Now this particular contact will automatically be assigned to your team member uh, to whom you have assigned here so this account has only one uh, agent right now but you can have more and you can decide different agents as per your requirement of the flow now very important thing again save workflow so now i need to go to the crm create the new custom field of gst And then I'll again go to the bot builder. I 
and here I'll update the save response to GST save workflow a very important thing here you need to also enable the workflow only then this bot would start so this is how you can collect the data and whenever the user is replying all this data will get stored in the CRM here then you can easily export the, the data with the custom field values in the CSV format. Thank you.